A vector is an ordered collection of elements. Today we'll talk about how a dynamic vector is implemented and see all of its under the hood cons. The best language for demonstration is C. The first field of the vector type is the vector itself. We'll make the vector only able to store ints for now. The length is how many elements the vector really contains and the capacity is the maximum amount of elements the vector could contain. The new function simply allocates a specific memory chunk, initially equal to the argument, and fills the rest of the fields. Now let's make a function for pushing an element into the vector. Well, our vector has to be dynamic. What I mean by that is that the capacity has to change if the limit has been reached. So first, if we have reached the capacity, we need to expand the vector using a reallocation. It's totally up to you, but I would reallocate to the current capacity multiplied by 2. Now we need to push the element given as an argument to the end of the vector. Well, the end of the vector is its length, so we quite easily do it like so. And we can already see the length is one greater. The next step is to create a function for removing an element by index. We have this vector of elements from 1 to 6, and we assume we need the second element to be deleted. So what we need to do is shift each element after the deletion index, 1 down. But here's the thing, if we do it, we'll have a double 6 at the end. It really isn't an issue, because the length is decremented anyway. So the second 6 is simply a leftover we don't care about, it is beyond the length. The speed of the operation totally depends on the deletion index. Now let's implement the contains function. Realistically, if you use contains, you should use a hashtag, which I'll talk about in one of my next videos. But if you really need to use a vector, keep in mind the time complexity is O of n. It is a very straightforward algorithm of going through each element and checking if it is what we're looking for. And now we could make a function for cutting off those dead elements. We need to equalize the capacity and the length and reallocate. 